manzanitas, uh, along with about five or six different species of oaks, which we love because it provides a lot of shade. But these manzanitas are probably a hundred years or older. They grow very slow. They're very ornamental and picturesque. So we're going to do some things with that, light them up, put planters. This is the garage pad. Uh, the garage will be raised up with a portico that connects to the house. And we tried to leave as many trees as we could. It'll be a three car garage. Now we're walking up toward the housing pad. We have gotta figure out what we're gonna do here, whether it's another entryway with steps or it's another drive that connects to the original driveway, which by the way was too steep uh, due to fire. You have to be under a certain grade for the fire trucks to get up here. So hence we did that driveway, which is about a 14.8 grade. I think you have to be under 16%. So this one didn't work. So we're not sure what we'll do with that. Here is the housing pad. And you'll start to see the view come into play. The homes will be about just under 3,000 square feet. It'll be a two bedroom, uh, kind of two masters on each side with an open living concept kitchen and living room in the center. This is sort of where the entryway will go. And that's our water tank, also a requirement for fire, it's 5,000 gallons. That'll be moved down the hill uh, to sit next to our solar uh, panels we'll, that we'll put. And uh, this is the view. This was a hill that kind of steeped up and then steeped down. So when we saw what the grader did, we were just amazed how big and flat and what a great job he did. We'll have a swimming pool that'll go off of this end. And uh, of course, a lot of landscaping. And then we'll, we'll have to figure out how we're gonna do this part with landscaping and sitting areas or outdoor fire pit, those kind of things. That's a fire break road over there. And uh, our neighbors just bought the 20 acres next to us, so it's going to be interesting to see their project.